Hello, YouTube. This is Dragon Man here. I have another Yu Gi Oh deck opening for you. And it is Warrior Strikes the Structure deck. I found this at my one of my Walmarts. And I just had the questions like, this is kind of odd seeing this here. And one thing I found out is that after getting it, it's like, okay, I remember buying this one time back long ago when I was really big into Yu Gi Oh! I don't remember the box being this shiny. I mean, it has grooves in the box. So, without further ado, let's open it. I don't want to try to damage this box too much just because I like the... I just like it. Okay, so they kind of poorly packaged it, so that's a thing. And, uh, okay, where's the blade? I need the blade. The blade is people friends, especially when you have to open things. Okay. Oh no, I damaged one. Okay. Because I've seen this, I've opened one of these before, I, I know the, what cards come in here. And I know how, to play, how the deck plays. Now to anybody who haven't, as I for, completely forgot what these are, this is a Gemini based deck. What are Gemini monsters? Well, when you read the cards, you find out they are technically two type of monsters at first. When you first summon them, Unless a certain, a, you have a certain card that get, does activate their effect, they come out as normal monsters. But you can normal, but whenever you can do it, you can normal summon again, so they can gain their effect. And all Gemini monsters has that. Is it? It's not a very proficient <laughs> build. I mean, they have not really had any broken decks. Not since uh, Ultimate Offering got put on the list. And this is Phoenix Gear Freed. Personally, one of the coolest looking Gear Freeds to date. Me, personally. And his effect is when this when your opponent activates its spell card, you can tar select one Gemini monster from your graveyard and special summon it. Also, you can send one face-up equip spell you control to the graveyard to negate the activation of a spell and trap card that targets a monster on your field and destroy it. So, really, actually, really good effect overall. It's just that the fact he's a Gemini monster. Which means, unless you have certain cards that gives him his ability right off the bat, you have to wait another turn so you can normal summon him. But once they're already on the field, they're coming around your next turn, you can just hit normal summon, and there you go. The only problem is, you waste your normal summon doing that. Next is Evocator Chevalier. His effect is, you can send one face-up equip spell you control to the graveyard to destroy one monster on your opponent controls. Okay. Now this is a non-Gemini, but he helps out with the Geminis because he kind of targets them. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can send one Gemini monster from your deck to the to the graveyard to draw a card. Now we have Gemini Soldier. His effect. Another problem with Gemini monsters is most of the time their effects are pretty small. Once per turn, this card would be destroyed by battle. It is not. It is not destroyed. If this card battles. After damage calculation, you can special summon one level 4 lower Gemini monster from... Sorry about that, that was my... That was one of my kittens. Who knows you're not supposed to be on the counter when I'm recording. Seriously. And you can special summon one level, level 4 lower Gemini monster from your deck. It's one of those, it's a good card. One problem. Its stats are kind of kind of bites, so makes people not want to run it. And let's see, we got Spell Striker. 
Eh, pretty not really great card. Free the matchless general. Rod and Captain. Ooh, Exile Force. I remember when this car was broken. DD Warrior Lady. I have fond memories of the DDs. Card Troopa. Gemini Summoner. Let's say once per turn, you can during your opponent's end phase, you can pay 500 life points to normal summon or set one Gemini monster from your hand or normal summon one face-up Gemini monster you control. Once per turn, this card will be destroyed. It is not destroyed. So, pretty good. I mean, he kind of helps get your Gemini monsters out faster and helps you get their effects off. The only problem is his effect activates at the end of your opponent's turn. The only good thing you can plus off of this is if he's already in the graveyard and you revive him. That's his only really good thing about him. Uh, Blaze Wing Butterfly. You can tribute this card to special summon one Gemini monster from your graveyard, except Blaze Wing Butterfly. A Gemini monster special summoned by this effect is treated as an effect monster and gains its effect. So if you normal summon, if you summon this to the point where it has its effect, you can tribute it to special summon a Gemini monster from your graveyard, and it gains its effect. And the deck so kindly gives us two. Let's see, DD Voya. Future Samurai. Now, this is out of all the Gemini monsters next to um, Gear uh, Phoenix Gear Freed, This one's actually the strong one, of the strongest ones that that, that that comes in this set on the structure deck. Why? Once per turn, you can remove from play one monster from your graveyard to destroy one face of monster on the field. The reason why this is okay, similar. It's very similar to Excavalier, but his problem is you have to send equip cards to activate his skill, whereas Future Samurai. You send monsters, and with how the game is, you can literally build your deck around having banished cards. So that's really not much of a problem. Field Commander Raz. Dark Valkyrie. One time only. You can place one spell counter on this card. It gains 300 attack for each spell counter on it. You can remove one spell counter from this card to destroy one monster on the opponent's field. It's an okay card. But for the Gemini deck, not great. Because we have no way to put spell counters on, the, on these cards. But if you're to put in the, um, some of the other decks, it can actually be much better. Now this is actually one of their better uh, equip spells. This set came out with a, quite a few equip spells, and this one targets Gemini monsters. You can only equip to a Gemini monster. It is treated as an effect monster and gains its effect. When this face-up card on the field is sent to the graveyard, select and special summon one normal monster from your graveyard. Now, the reason why it says that is because Gemini monsters, while they're in the hand, on the field, or in the graveyard, they are treated as normal monsters until they are active, until you can summon their effect. Well, normal summon them again. But even then, while they're in... In the on the field with their effect, if they're bounced back to your hand or sent to the graveyard, then they're being they get reverted back to being treated as normal monsters. So that's a that's another cool thing about Gemini monsters. It's just the biggest problem with Gemini monsters you, they can't spam the monsters out quick enough, and they only came with one supervise, which kind of stinks. Mind Control. Burden of the Mighty. Silent Doom. Hidden Armory. Nightmare Steel Cage. Let's go Space Typhoon. Oh my god, I remember this one. AKBO Drek Mord. Reinforcement of the Army. Can always use more of those. Big Bang Shots. Big Bang Attack. Divine Sword. Phoenix Blade. Double summon. The this is one of the few ways that you can get more bang for your buck. So gotta need those. I kinda do want to rebuild a Gemini deck, even though it would just be for fun. Symbols of duty. Send one monster no monster you control to the graveyard. Select one and special on one monster from either graveyard. Equip this card to it. When the this card is removed from the field, destroy the equipped monster. 
Swings of memory. Unleash your power. Dark Bribe. I believe this was like one of the first structure decks that actually came with Dark Bribe. Good night with Jane. Sick of that two armor. Most of these are garbage trap cards. Solar Extraction. Special summon normal monster from your graveyard in defense position. When this card is removed, destroy that monster. When this. Okay, we don't need this. Justy Brick! It's, a, it's such a trolley card! Gonna act activate this and declares an attack against a face up normal monster. You control, destroy all monsters on the field except face up attack position normal monsters. So, this is kind of weird with how the deck runs. So, I mean, it makes sense because if as long as they're being treated as normal monsters, don't have to worry about Justy Break, but no one really worries about Justy Break at all now. Birthright! In Germany, Trapol. Okay. So, yeah. Again, I found this randomly at my Walmarts. Was it an okay purchase? Well, concerning I didn't have, I didn't have to pay full price because it was on sale. So, overall, I'm not completely complaining. I do have fond memories of the deck. So, without further ado, if there is an, a special deck that you want me to try to look up and do an opening for you, I will. So, until then, stay tuned for the next one. Bye.